All right, welcome to the official release and walkthrough of the Sandswept map, single player map for Quake here. I'm gonna kind of take you through the journey here. Um, so this map features a large and regal desert town and a, a large palace too that kind of is like the center point here. So you start out in this corner with one real area to go. And as you go past, you're gonna notice that there's zombies here. And immediately, if you play quick, you know that you can't actually kill these things without explosives. So you kind of just have to be on the move here for a while. Um, there's some more zombies over here to take out. So here's this palace here, this gigantic palace with all of these, um, all these flags and banners here. So this is kind of the focal point of the map. You can't actually get in here yet. So you just kind of have to be on the move for the time being. Fending off these zombies as you do so. In this corner, you have this death guard that's going to charge you. you take him out, and if you do, you have access to this uh, armor over here. So you're going to kind of just make your way through here. Um, kind of frantic, really. You got to keep on the move to dodge these things that they're throwing at you. And actually, what you can do is if you go back here at first, you'll see some more zombies rocket launcher here. And you can use this to get rid of them, so. Um, you have a few rockets, you don't need that much. You basically just need to get rid of all these zombies here. Uh, if you really choose to do that. Here we have, there's one in here. And now you're able to go up the zombie uh, into the kind of catwalk area. Uh, this window also may provide you, like, a <laughs> Showing you there's a back alleyway over there, so if you do go in here first, uh, that might be a little hint to people later on. But yeah, here's a little catwalk. You can kind of look out and see the palace from afar and a bit more height now as well. And uh, this building also is where you're targeted to go into to progress through the level. So we're going to go over here, and this connects to uh, this kind of watchtower, this wooden watchtower area. Mm. And now you're on the other side of the gate. This guy is going to come and swarm you. And I guess because I know he's there, I made the level, but the player would usually walk forward and probably get shot at and heard like the uh, grenade bouncing noise and turn around. And when they do turn around, they get this guy gun over here too. Um, initially, I had this ogre kind of patrolling around back and forth through here, but he would end up shooting through this little gate here, even though I put a clipping brush. Uh, across the entire thing, he would still kind of fire at the player for some reason, so I moved him back over here throughout this corner, so that way he won't prematurely fire at the player. But anyway, you can now go in here, <coughs> and there's a little audio in the game. You can kind of bump rush you. Um, should be simple to take out with the tools you've got, though. Now you have this kind of boss door over here. Oh, that's gonna reveal the shambler. And here's the mini boss. So now in order to progress you gotta kill the shambler. You can kinda get in here and you have these pillars now to dodge the lightning attacks that he uses. You still gotta be able to move to not get in the top. He has like his claws. Shambler down, the door now opens to reveal this key. You now have the ticket you need to get inside the palace. I would backtrack a bit. Mm. Uh, there's some health things here. I guess I was already damaged though. But if you need more health, you can pick those up. There's another zombie. Right now. So this little box and shed area of some ammo will serve as like a, a very quick way to get back. So you don't have to backtrack the entire way. You just kind of hop this wall. And this is all blocked off too. So you can't kind of escape that way. But now we have the key, so we can go through here. And these boxes will also be very supportive of us. These ogres kind of jump at you. Um, maybe something in the future I can do is put like a secret or something in here, actually. But right now there's nothing. I think there's another zombie. Let's get rid of you. Alright, so now you're in the real kind of palace area, and this is a 
meant to be a pretty stark contrast to the just basic sand brick and uh, sand of the, the normal town. Um, marbled and, you know, has all this, um, what do you call it? Mosaic work, I guess, uh, and, and trimming here. So, yeah, there's like this mural over here too and this kind of grand foyer area. So, um, yeah, this is like the real like turning point of the level pretty much. And I also really like how the lighting looks in here. You kind of get like the, the sun's shadow kind of cascades a bit onto the stairs before it kind of transitions into this more torch uh, themed area, I guess, of the interior. Um, so you have two ways to go now. You can go to the left. Uh, this way is kind of like the sunken left wing that's fallen into disarray. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of just being destroyed. And this way is still intact. So the more, oh, so we go this way first. Uh, this attack kind of the right here. There's a few ogres here that we'll take out. So immediately we have kind of traps and pushers, and there's this big pit of lava over here as well. Um, so we can kind of go over here and try not to get pushed off, and not get crushed by these spikes as well. Take damage if you do. And now you arrive at this kind of magic carpet ride. So this room is very large, and your end point is up here on this uh, ledge. So in order to actually climb up there, you have to take the magic carpet ride. And this is going to continue up towards your destination, and you have to kind of dodge these obstacles along the way there. And also vertically too, you want to make sure you don't get crushed by any of these little bits. So we'll head on over. Uh, if you fall, you do end up in the lava, and it's pretty much a death, and you have to restart if you do. Unless you can somehow make it out, but I've yet to see that. But then you make it here, and you have this kind of glowing button here to help the player know that this is something that needs to be pushed. Push into it, and it says only one more to go. And there's a quick way back. Teleport back to the main foyer so you don't have to, you know, take fall damage as you fall down or backtrack or anything like that. So now we go the other way for the, the second button. Go through this little area that's the, the underwater section. And this whole room, as you can kind of see, is all slanted. That's kind of to simulate that this place is um, kind of crumbling and breaking down as the monsters in this town kind of uh, degrade it. Uh, this area right here, so the button is actually on the other side of this little grate. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't actually see that right now because this is the side of the water. Um, this water is all in one big block, and you can actually see the edge of where that block ends. I've tried making that different textures, and I can't unfortunately find a solution to make that invisible. But the idea is you would be able to see your endpoint immediately uh, when you come in here. It's like, oh, this is where I need to go, and where I need to figure out how to get to. So you kind of maneuver your way through this broken down area. And there's this wizard here that will attack you. So one thing you can do is you can use the cover of the water as a shield. Because he won't actually fire at you unless he is in the water with you. So that will kind of protect you a bit. And now over here, this is already much more moody than the other areas outside. Um, kind of don't know what's coming up. And then you have this. you and then so you make your way through here and arrive at the second button all right so the sequence is complete we can head back and now this big area on the floor has opened up some sort of explosion has caused the main foyer to open up and it's very dark down there except for this little pit down at the bottom so fall down in the water this way we don't take any damage and now, you have health, you have ammo, so it kind of indicates something is coming up here. And I think I have a little bit of nail gun ammo left, I might as well use this. So we can head over to the final boss chamber here. Yeah, this is the final 
kind of need to be on the move from these uh, explosive balls that chase you. I think we're going to just keep going. So I'll take the hit in order to just kind of show the cave. Normally, you can just run into this portal and dodge them, though. But yeah, you kill the boss, and then the bars will open to let you leave. But this is kind of the, the final area, the dark, dingy cave um, underneath this gigantic regal palace, which is sort of like the the unexpected, like, eldritch horror in the basement type of trope that I was going for. And you can see that the sand kind of piles up here, uh, this kind of uneven flooring. So, yeah, I was going for a lot of different, um, a lot of different themes here. Um, I guess all different themes within the same desert theme. And, yeah, I was relatively happy with the result here. And this portal will just kind of take you to the end. And there you go. That's the end of the level. Uh, I think I missed a few kills, maybe some zombies or such, but, yep, that is, um, that is Sandswept. I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, you can find more info to it, uh, in the description with the repo link. So if you're interested, check it out, and thanks for watching.